Hello and welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube. Breaking through fears and going after a life that you dream of, but you're not living. Why fear? But what is fear? What is fear and why is it we find it so difficult to release fear and have total acceptance of everything and be joyful and experience life in a completely different way of looking at it than we normally do. So I'm going to have a few videos today. I'm going to shoot a few videos today about just it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Because, you know, every day goes by and then another week and another week and you find that Really not much has changed in your life, right? I think most people have experienced that. So the question is like, how have I accomplished so much? You know, I get into those ruts too. I get into those situations where I'm like, you know, I'm not really getting anywhere. It's sort of this different situations, but the same patterns. And you find yourself not really where you want to be, whether it's your job, money, your relationship, or relationships, or just, you know, just how you feel every day. And a year goes by and you think, I'm not feeling like I have purpose or that I have joy or that I'm really where I know I can be. And why am I not getting there? Why am I not getting there? We're going through a transition on this earth. We're already in it. And a lot of things are changing. You may have felt physical changes. You may have noticed that some people have come out in and out of your life in a big way. A lot of people have exited this earth. Uh, a lot of people have died, I've noticed, um, that are choosing not to be in this transition period. Uh, they've done whatever they can. And then there are those who uh, are helping you from the other side that are ready to take you to the next level. And all you have to do is make that decision. Are you going to do it? Are you going to make the transition? Are you now going to break through because everything's aligned for you? Everything is aligned. The Mayan calendar ended. We're going into the new phase. We've been in it. The energy on this planet has shifted greatly and it is time to elevate this vibration, this frequency and stop being dense morons that hurt things on this planet, that poison and kill and, you know, just whatever we want. We're willing to do whatever it takes to feed that ego and it's time to stop hurting the planet hurting others, hurting everything on this planet that is precious, hurting others. Why? Why do we do this? We all chose to be here. We all chose to be here. Why? This is one of the most challenging, if not the most challenging, thank goodness, planet in the universe. Thank goodness, meaning I would hate to be in a place that's more challenging than this, where people speak poorly to each other, where people are put things before um, love and caring, that put themselves above all other things, that are so caught up in their thinking, they don't realize that we're not here for that to analyze, to think, to argue with others. I was at a party last night and, you know, the elections came up. And of course, here we go again. Everybody thinks they're right. You're not going to vote for so-and-so now, are you? And I was thinking, well, I could say the same thing to you, right? Why? We always think we're right. And the rest of the world is wrong, except for those that agree with us. That is totally the ego, but we don't recognize that. We think the ego is something that's doing something bad, but that that is okay. 
That's not the ego, but it is the ego. The ego does not control you. You control everything. When you're chatting in your head, who are you talking to? You? Who's you? Shut it down. Shut down the chatter. Shut down the judging. We're doing it all day. Driving down the street. Ooh, that's a pretty house. Oh, gosh, that's ugly. Oh, I mean, simple things, right? Constantly judging. Naming. It's time to start recognizing the thoughts that are going through your head, the judgments. And you can be the nicest person in the world, but if that stuff's going on in here, it is affecting everything on this planet. And we have abused this beautiful, beautiful planet has hosted us and frankly is probably ready to kick us off because we just have not respected it. And this planet is a living thing. It's living, just like you and I are. There's no difference between energies other than the frequency. And our low frequency doesn't belong on here. Are you going to be part of the one, part of the movement, part of the spiritual beings that rise above all of this and create the new earth? That is what we should be focused on above all. When you do that, all these things you want, all these happy things that you want, all these lovely material things that you want, they will come. And that's what I can't get through to so many people is let that go. That is the letting go and focusing on being the highest being you can be. Quit blaming the world for your problems. You chose all of it. You are exactly where you are because you chose all of it. All of it. The people that have been with you, the people that you came into this world with, the people you're hanging out now with, all the abuse, all of it, serves a purpose. How are you going to view that? Are you going to use it as your, your story, your success story to others that these things don't destroy us? They can strengthen us. And that compassion and forgiving is so much more powerful than anger and resentment and blame. These are not difficult things to break through. These are the most difficult challenges. I grew up in a very happy, healthy home. Who knows what I've been through in my past lives that allowed me to take a break this time, right? We all have our turn at different things. When you have gone through challenges, take it on and ask yourself how you're going to create a new viewpoint on that. One that can accept it as a learning experience. And by the way, everybody has choice. I'm not saying that things are pre-planned, that abuse will happen, that murder will happen, that you know, sadness will happen. Those people all, even if they, you were all placed in those situations, every moment, everyone still has a choice to change it, to elevate it, to elevate it, to not do the negative thing, the negative action. Even if you're set up to do it, you may go through the motion again and next life you come through and the person does the abuse again and the person does the abuse again and Finally, one time you say, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to break through this. That's part of it. And the people involved in that have chosen to be a part of that, to help that person or to help themselves to become something absolutely magnificent. Because the more, more challenges you have that you break through, the more incredibly elevated your energy can be. You have great opportunities here. My mission here has been to show others to be the, the bridge from where we are to where we can be. 
And I couldn't do that unless I lived the life that I'm teaching. And that is to be fearless. I've had my challenges just like you. I've had my challenges, maybe different challenges. But fear is fear. And breaking through fear on any level can be extremely difficult. Now I'm going to do a video right after this about what I have actually done with my life and how some of you may be choosing to change what you do for a living, how you can go after your passion in life. But it's time to wake up, people. We are one. We are one. And my mission is to every day, not just, you know, share with you ways that you can come out of this discomfort you may be having, but working on it myself. Because even an awakened being, even the Dalai Lama, people on super high levels still deal with these human experiences all the time. They handle them completely different and they live in joy despite these challenges because they have them too. And we can do the same thing. You are as powerful as Buddha, as Christ, as the Dalai Lama, as anyone. If you don't believe that, then you need to get that in check first. We are all powerful beings of the one. So how can we not be absolutely pure light and love that can do anything we want if we focus on it in the most positive way. So it's time to wake up. Are you willing to wake up? Are you willing to today, today, make that change? To meditate every day? To clear out the garbage that isn't you? To start connecting to the higher one that you are? And things will come to you. Ideas direction because they're all waiting for us. I'll do another video on that too. All right. Time to wake up. We can change this earth. We have a very short period of time here. Are you going to join me? Namaste.